Hey, and we are just getting on to the Wisconsin Dell Strip, Highway 12, and we are going to be heading back in the direction of town. See West 12, North 23. So from this point, we're going to be coming past Noah's Ark, and this is kind of like the old original strip that uh, runs from the 90 entrance on the road to the next 90 entrance on the road, but this is kind of like what Wisconsin Dells is, at least when you get on the strip. Used to be. Yeah, used to be. You have the Indian Trading Posts, coming up to Tommy Bartlett's. This is going to be Tommy Bartlett's Robot World and Exploratorium. Right now it is late July on a Sunday evening that we're driving down the strip in Wisconsin Dells, generally heading north. Tommy Bartlett. So is that a parasol when you're using it for sun instead of rain? Yeah. Ooh, the Dell Bar is a fancy oh. restaurant. It's very nice. Not sure if it's open. We tried to. I think we ended up going to the House of Embers, which was also really good. Oh, Look at yeah. old school Flamingo Motel, House of Embers. Nice dining, fancy. And a lot of these hotels have free uh, water park passes. Yeah. If you stay there, you get them automatically. There's Although one summer, I think we were here, no one was doing it, but um, this summer they are, and they have for past summers too. So that's like Mount Olympus Village. Mount Olympus has tons of these properties they've picked up now, so Mount Olympus really isn't in one particular spot anymore. Like here's Poseidon's Village for Mount Olympus. You got another Mount Olympus over here. Back in the olden days, these places were all independent hotels and Mount Olympus has kind of taken over a lot of this strip. Here's Noah's Ark. Currently the world's largest water park, or America's at least. That's what they say. Hey, Big Chief Go-Karts. Here's Pizza Pub. There's people walking along the streets. We don't usually stay down here. Actually, we never have stayed down here. Here's Belux Restaurant, which used to be the brothers-in-laws. And that blue place down here used to be a lot of different things. Most recently, Marley's. And we just passed the Dell's Mining Company where you can sift for jewels. Here's something. This is the uh, D-Day Invasion Ropes Course. Which is oh, yeah. Interesting. And the Dell's Army Ducks. More Mount Olympus over here. Atlantis Family Water Park Hotel. One of the older ones. So now we're going to be coming up on the left to the Mount Olympus Water Park where it started. Um, and here's Rick Wilcox uh, Magic Theater up on the right of this driveway. We heard it was good, but we're yeah, not we heard really into that kind of stuff. We're not not into it. But yeah. But you only get limited time here. Yeah. Here's a Paradise Motel. Here's a hotel motel that is still original. And they got like this big grass lawn that you wouldn't see anymore nowadays. It looks pretty darn good. Yeah. Pretty nice, all things considered. And here coming up on the left, as you can see, is Mount Olympus. And we actually went uh, with some free water park tickets to Mount Olympus a few years ago. Yep. It was fun. Look at this place covers like half the strip now and the guy who created this was the guy who originally made, okay here's take it here, here's some racetracks over here on the other side of the road. Oh and the original Wisconsin ducks, the green and white ducks are here, The, in my opinion the preferred ducks. But here's Mount Olympus and the guy who started Mount Olympus started with a little greasy spoon restaurant called Big Chief Restaurant on County Road A. And then he, he added a go-kart track, and he had like the biggest, best go-kart track in Wisconsin Dells. Um, and then this used to be a different theme park over here. Actually, it used to be Family Land, and then it was some defunct Emerald Garden or whatever. 
then he bought the land and kept buying and buying and buying and it was a water park and then a theme park now they got roller coasters and everything so we're finally passing the end of that Mexicali Rose good restaurant and we're coming up to Connor Road A which if you take a right up here it will take you around Lake Delton and up to what's the restaurant we're at today River's Edge. River's Edge, yeah. River's Edge Resort and Water Park. Here's the top secret. Today only $5. But don't be swayed because <laughs> every day is today. Every day is today and it's and $5 secret. off. Here's American Resort. It used to be American World Resort. Oh, here's the Wisconsin Deer Park. How many years? 65 years. 65, yeah. And going strong. It was actually really fun. I was kind of skeptical when we went, but it was actually pretty fun. It's fun. It's a great trip for the family and the deers will come and eat out of your hands. The deers? The deer. <laughs> this used to be a Riverview Park in Waterworld. Now it's Tungavati Wildlife Park and they've got giraffes. There's the Lost Temple. Never been in it. Now we are coming down. As we come down the hill on Highway 12, we're going to be meeting Broadway. Um, and we're going to be taking a right, crossing the bridge into downtown. On the left is going to be the McDonald's and the Walgreens. That used to be Fort Dells, like back in the 70s was Fort Dells. And there are still remnants of Fort Dells behind the trees that hasn't been redeveloped. Tell them about the McDonald's design. Oh yeah, and the McDonald's is like a throwback to Fort Dells. And when you go in there, they got a lot of pictures of the old Fort Dells. It's kind of cool. And even a little sign, a little historical sign that says Fort Dells. Here, Dells uh, boat tours and jet boat tours at the bottom of the dam. Mexicali Rose is a great restaurant with a good patio overlooking the river and the uh, dam. The river dam. The river dam. So we're making the corner, turning up into downtown Dells on Broadway from Highway 12. So we're going to be crossing the river. Um, on the left is Pirate's Cove Adventure Golf and Timber Falls uh, Mini Golf. But Timber Falls actually has this awesome roller coaster. It's actually a really good roller coaster. Well, and there's Pirate's Cove. Maybe, maybe not. Depends on how old you are. Because I went on it with a nephew, and the nephew loved it. It was like all jarring and fast and whatever. And I usually like that kind of stuff, but like I was like, that is the worst thing I've ever been on. Gave you a huge headache. Here's, yeah. here's Timber Falls, Kicker's Restaurant, Rocky Rococo's. And now we are crossing the Wisconsin River. And to the right is the Lower Dells, and the boat trips go in the Lower Dells, and on this side is the Upper Dells boat trips. So we're going to be crossing into downtown and cruising up Broadway. And this is always a fun part. Not everybody, if you're staying at a big resort, you, you don't always make it downtown, but it's cool. It's got tons of tons of uh, fudge candy making shops and uh, you know, t-shirt shops, but gift shops and uh, little attractions, haunted stores. houses, mini golf courses couple of them. Showboat Saloon up here. Yeah, one of my favorite things uh, coming to the Dells is I just love watching the candy and the fudge being made. It's like my favorite thing to do. <laughs> yeah, and there are like three or four different places where you can see that, and these guys are going to be able to go because they're cross, go ahead, crosswalks over here, but we don't want to run you over. On the left is Wizard Quest. Wizard Quest is popular in Ripley's, believe it or not, but Wiz Wizard Quest, everybody says it's cool. I've never done it. Here's the Haunted Mansion, which I went to as a kid. It's still here. That's cool. Whatever this place is, used to be the famous gift shop called Bailey's Landing, and now it's just a gigantic Zero. plain t-shirt shop. So, uh. Oh, hey, they're made right. fudge. Swiss made fudge. And they're making the fudge in the window. Oh, they are. She's, She's actually it getting ready to pour it in there. Yep. Nick's Bar has been here forever, and there it is on the corner. Have a swing with Nick. And they still get the boat tour tickets on the corner, so we're going to go up the street and we're going to find a parking spot off the street because we're driving a house on wheels, so we don't exactly want to parallel park, although we could and we have. And we have. That's right. One of the little places that we probably won't drive past today is Pizza Villa. Pizza Villa. Villa Depending on how Villa. you say it. It's right around the corner. Yeah, it's so good. It's got this, oh, it's green. It's got this sweet uh, marinara sauce and I swear to god it's like my favorite pizza ever. It's and yummy. I love pizza. It's so good. I highly recommend it. Old time photos they got the uh, Bennett uh, History Museum. The guy who basically made the Dells popular is photographs. Here's and where we're going to eat tonight. Monks. Monk Bar. It's a must. They've got great 
family atmosphere and they've got great hamburgers and fries and it's made just like right on the spot. Pretty simple uh, food but really good and really fun to go have a couple drinks at as well. And we're going to let these pedestrian cross and the chalet is kind of the end of the strip. There's some more, okay, yeah. We're not yeah. going to run you over, but when you put your hand up it makes me want to. Um, uh, this is a chalet, gift shops up and down. Uh, it's an ambulance. But yeah, like Robin was saying, Pizza Villa or Pizza Villa, however you want to call it, it's off the strip, so you wouldn't necessarily know about it, but it's really good. And the service is good there too. It's kind of like old style dining room, not very fancy, but the food is really good. And the service was excellent. Yes. Well, we're going to pull over here just to stop the tape. Tape. <laughs> tape. Anyway. That was a tour, actually a pretty good one on a Sunday evening from literally starting at the beginning of the strip on the east side, or the south side really is what I call it. It's coming from the east with the way that 90 goes. So exit at 90, probably that would have been exit 89 um, up to Highway 12. We followed 12 north down the strip. And then when we got to the corner of Broadway, which I think is also 16, we took a right, which I get my directions mixed up at this point, I guess, like back way, I don't know. Anyway, followed on the map, took the trip through downtown onto Broadway, turned right at the chalet, gift, stop, gift shop area. And that's kind of like what, not necessarily old school Dells is, but yeah, kind of, because you got to see the strip and you got to see the downtown and the boat tours and the ducks and of course Mount Olympus. So that's a good view, in my opinion, of kind of what the Wisconsin Dells is all about. What we didn't see are the mega resorts on the far end, like exit probably 91, where you get like, what's that, Kalahari, the wilderness, and um, what's that other big one I can't think of right now? The other big monster are, I think, like exit 91. We didn't see any of that. That's on the far end of the Dells, but this is kind of good view of old school Dells. Thank you for watching our old school video. Bye.